We should tell how this enormous work expanded and extended, till both spire and tower and cloisters, west front roofs and all, were mended, how unto their medieval counterparts they paid due credence with the skills and tools and methods mastered by their antecedents. We should tell, a lifetime later, how this scheme of restoration still continues, as we mark eight hundred years since that foundation, how painstaking work in details has restored the whole to glory, and re-energized this perfect space to tell its sacred story. Well, I wonder now. When Roy Spring made his assessment of the spire, and they started that humongous job of repair works on the entire spire and tower of our cathedral, just how long they envisaged the work might last. For you see, Roy Spring were hanging about in his bosun's chair in 1976 making his study, and the job is still more or less a-going on nowadays in 2021. Almost the whole building have been assessed, conserved or repaired during these forty years. Truly a lifetime's work. Starting in course with the most delicate job of all, the fragile eggshell of the spire and the girt superstructure of the tower, the original lantern section below it and the main arcading of the church below that, with all the extra bits of ironwork and buttressing added over the centuries, all on its central to the key element. After that, they made a girt restoration of the west front, settling the structural problems and adding modern statues in the empty niches, and over the following years, stonework over the entire structure were conserved, restored or replaced, led in over the roofs, even stained glass. The cloisters and chapter house were dealt with, and lastly the Trinity Chapel, the first part built. In course, the masons, glaziers, plumbers and farriers have had a lifetime's opportunity for an apprenticeship into medieval building skills, not just in carving gargoyles, but in the use of lime mortar and modern ways of protecting delicate medieval stained glass, and no doubt so much more. Far more than £6.5 million have been spent over the years. I dare not find out the real vigour, but in course, our cathedral is a special one, a perfect one, in the same realm of importance as Chartres in France. A jewel, a wonder, a vision. And among all the names involved over the last forty years of works, I reckons the clerk of works, Mr. Roy Spring, deserves our long-lasting gratitude.